Huh, it's 2020. 4K is normal, everybody has easy access to high resolution videos. But that's exactly why some vintage film look, looks, look, looks creative and unique and cool. So today I'll show you guys how to create 80s vintage film look in Premiere Pro. Okay, so first thing first, place the graded footage on the timeline. This time I'm gonna use this footage. By the way, I uploaded the video about how to color grade with orange, yellow, faded film look last time. If you wanna deep dive into that, here's a video for you. So the process is actually very easy. First, create the adjustment layer over the footage and go to Limitary Color, Creative. If you want to add some faded film look, turn this up a little bit, but not too much. Because overkill in this makes the image so flat. And search Noise and find Noise HLS Auto. Drag this on adjustment layer. So first thing you do here is change this noise type to grain. This grain is also known as film grain, which gives the image some sort of noise, like dusty, small, moving noises. It's gonna make your videos more cinematic and film look. So there are hue, lightness, and saturation. This is basically what you want to use to make noises. If you choose saturation, noise will be created based on saturation. So the color will be broken a little bit, but this time we're gonna use lightness. This is gonna create noise without breaking colors. Okay, so I'm doing like 10. If you want to noise more, just turn this up. And grain size, uh, one is good. And noise animation speed, as the number becomes larger, the noise moves faster. So maybe uh, 20, 18. 18 is good not too fast. Actually, you finished the half of whole process. Almost there. So next thing I'm gonna do is use some VHS noise as overlay. This can be anything as long as it's moving video noise. You can find a lot of them for free online. But I'm gonna pay some good one in the description below. So first, download it. Okay, so drag this video noise footage over the adjustment layer, but this is too small, so make it bigger until this covers the whole screen, and then change this blend mode to screen. At this point, this footage already got some scratchy moving noise on it, but you can do better than this. So as the final adjustment of this noise footage, first change the opacity to maybe 60%, but this totally depends on your preference. But I just felt it was too much. And then go to Limitary Color, Curve. I don't want to lose the contrast of original footage anymore. So make a point at the middle and bring it down a little bit. So now the image has moving scratchy VHS noise and film grain, but it's still contrasty enough. Well, actually, this is it. Nothing complicated easy and simple. But this is just basic. You can customize it whatever you want like a changing RGB curve individually and get close to the real VHS look or just add some film grain. That's it. Whatever. It's all in your hand. I used this vintage effect in the b-roll last time. This video, what do you guys think? Personally, I like it. Looks good. But it's very easy. So if you master this, you're gonna get another creative filmmaking weapon for your videos. Okay, this is it. If you have any questions about this video, don't hesitate to leave a comment below. And if you have any comments, thoughts, idea, also leave the comment below. And I have a question for you too today. Yes, what filmmaking technique do you use most in your videos? Comment below. So today's topic is pretty much it and thank you for watching this video. If you like this one, show me a thumb and uh, hit the subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Uh, actually, I recorded this whole video uh, in like a, I don't know, 10 minutes ago and yeah, I finished it. I'll see you in the next video. Done. And I checked it. It wasn't recording and I was like come on it's even three come on man wh wh when did you stop recording and I checked it and I never started record can you believe this okay